This next word I want to show you is a word I really, really like. It's the word imagine. Now before I get into an example or show you really what this word's about, I want to do a little exercise. Right now, I want you to take a moment, clear your thoughts, and now I want you to imagine that you've completed this course, you have these words, you have these power phrases, and now you start using them. You start writing excellent, clear, concise copy for yourself, for your clients. You start making your clients money. You start making money. You start building a business. You start creating copy for lots of clients. Your business grows. Your name becomes known in the copywriting world. And you become a successful, long-standing member of the top-tier copywriting society. Now, what did you just do as I told you that story? You imagined it. That is the power of the word imagine. Your goal as a copywriter is to persuade a reader to take action. Now the next best thing is to get them to imagine taking action. And this is what you must do in most cases when you're trying to sell something, when you're trying to get someone to accept your offer. You're usually not going to have the ability to give them a test run or give them a true test run or give them a trial. Some cases you might, but in those cases you can't where, say, it's a course, educational course, you really can't show them too much because they have to experience it for themselves. So the next best thing is to get them to imagine having already taken action, having already done that and experiencing the results of doing what your offer includes. So that's what I want to encourage you with. Now I want to show you an example of the word imagine. This headline here says, What would you do with more energy and less pain? Now when you read that headline, your brain probably already goes into, well, what would I do? You start asking yourself that question. Your brain gets activated. Now the next part of this copy is a paragraph that starts with, Imagine. Imagine waking up each morning with no pain and increased energy. How would that change the way you approach your day? Would you finally be able to exercise regularly? Would you be able to perform better at work instead of constantly feeling groggy and needing another cup of coffee? So just in that short little paragraph there, more than likely, you've already imagined all that they've asked you to imagine. It says, imagine waking up each morning with no pain and increased energy. Our brains can't help but to daydream about that. Our brains can't help but think through that. When we hear the word imagine, it activates our brain and makes us want to imagine what it's asking us to imagine.